I need to turn down my iPad. There we go. All right, I'm gonna wait a few minutes for a couple people to jump, jump on. I see Rebecca and Natalie, hello, hello. Let me know uh, where you're watching from. Poor grammar, but you know what I'm trying to say. I think I'm all set up and ready to go. I'll just give it just a couple more minutes. A couple more seconds, probably. I'm impatient, so I wanna get marbling. Hey, Rhonda, how are you? I hope you've had a great weekend. Oh, no. <laughs> I hope everything's going well at work. Okay. Well, good evening, Pam from Missouri. Welcome, welcome. All right, so the last time I went live, I marbled some paper and um, I wanted to do a tumbler and I wanted to show you that this is what it turned out to be. Now, I learned a lot. This was my first tumbler applying paper I've done one, uh, a couple of them with fabric, but I had never done paper before, so I thought, hmm, I wonder if that will work. And so this was my Valentine's one. So this time, I'm going to try to do um, some shamrocks. Now, I've never tried shamrocks before, but to me, it's just like three hearts with a little stem. So I think I can do that. So, um, and I'm also today, I'm trying new kinds of paper. Well, I tried one of the papers last time I marbled. My supplier for my normal paper is moving and she's not able to send out my paper until uh, April. So I thought, well, this is a good time for me to experiment with, um, thank you, Rhonda. It's a good time for me to experiment with other papers. So as I go through each paper, it's going to be a surprise, except for one. I know one's go how one is going to perform, because I did try it last time, but I'll tell you which papers I'm using. And um, I had most of these papers just sitting around because I'm now doing hand-bound journals. So um, I thought, oh, I wonder if I can marble that paper as well. Because I've tried many different types and I've just not been happy so I prepped it in a little bit different way this time and so we're gonna see what happens so I guess without any further ado let's get started um, as I said we're going kind of for a shamrock theme so I'm going to start my marbling with some greens I'm gonna use Welcome to my garage, my fancy, fancy studio. I'm going to start with this lighter green. Let me push you down. Now, let me turn you down here. You don't want to sit and watch me talk. So let me turn you down. That means I'm, hey, Kara. How are you? I hope you survived okay in the ice. Okay, I'm going to turn you down now. So if this bothers you, don't look. Wait for my iPad to catch up here. All right, that looks pretty good. And then you can still see when I rinse, so that's probably gonna be really good. So I'm just gonna start by dropping this green on the water because I want a little bit of color in the background. When I use my other paint, um, I have a gold, a metallic gold, and metallics will work on paper, but they won't work on fabric. And had I been thinking when I, had, when I did my Valentine's tumbler, sorry, I just hit the stand, I would have added some gold. There's, I have two different types of paints that I'm using. They're both acrylic paint. I'm glad you're doing well, Kara. That I thought about you. 
So now I'm just gonna throw in some white. Again, this is just acrylic paint floating on the surface of the water. And I'm gonna get a background and then I'm gonna try to add my, uh, my shamrocks. And even if they don't work, it's okay because I can just swirl it around and just print my paper anyway. So let me get my tool. The whole thing was going to come down on me there for a minute. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and move this. This is just going to be my background. This is the way I always start, just a back and a forth. I hope everyone's having a fantastic um, Sunday. I've been kind of lazy today. I did put on a ham for dinner and we've already eaten. We had kind of an early, late lunch, early dinner kind of situation. And all right, so now I want to That's going to be the background. Let's see, I want to start with this one first. Again, these are all acrylic paints. Going to put a little bit in this cup so it's easier for me to okay kind of trying to get my bearings on how big these drops need to be Sorry that I'm not talking here. Hi, Barbara. Hey, Colleen. Thank you, Colleen. Hey, Carol. Yeah, I would love it if you would sprinkle this video out. Let's see, so I want this one up here. These are kind of too far apart, but hopefully it'll work out. We'll do the other one here. I'm almost thinking I need the smaller stylus. Each drop that I put on the water uh, increases the amount of tension on the whole surface. And you'll see why I did the black first. I'm gonna get the lid on this. But I tell you, I am one of those people who just 
I can lie around and think about these kind of things all the time. But what can I do next? How can I try this? I wonder what happens when I do that. So these, these kind of things are the result of it. I have um, just, well, I haven't marbled my first piece of leather, but I marbled a piece and then I hand stitched it together recently. So you got the smaller one. And I'm doing a deep green. I don't know if you can see that. Now look, can you see how small these are being pushed together as I add more paint on the other end? Now when I'm creating the shamrocks, I need to remember I need to go from all directions. I recently made a book cover or a piece of cloth, and uh, these, I'll do this one here without the black. And I had a heart on it, and of course the heart was uh, facing, it was upside down for the front, or it was right side up if I put it on the back. So I was a little disgusted with myself when I was printing. I have to think about that. So I wanna be sure my heart, or my, my, uh, whatever these things, shamrocks go different directions. Look at me, I forget already. All right, so now I'm gonna add a brighter green. This is the next green I'm gonna add. Yeah, these are turning out much larger than I anticipated, so. I should have, last time when I did my hearts, I started with a small one and then I felt they were too small. And um, so I thought this one, well, I'll start with a bigger one and this is where it gets me. So now I'm going to take this same bright green and the even smaller stylus. This is the one I was just using. This was the first one. Can you see the size, the difference in the size? So now I'm going to use this one. I think I'll just do some little dots here. I have one that's even smaller, so if I want to, I can add some even tinier ones. So now I wanna make sure I get some going the other direction. Oh, no, I did that wrong. So we'll try this over here. So I need, I need one up here. There we go. We'll do one more over here.
Okay, so there's the beginning of my shamrocks, or what I attempt to be shamrocks. Hello, hello everyone. Thank you for watching. My name is Linda Anderson of Aqueous Silk, and I'm attempting shamrocks if you're just joining us. So, let's see, I need to put in my stems. Maybe I'll wait and do my stems. No, I think I should do my stems now. So we'll use this basic green. Okay, I want a smaller stem, so. Now this works in my head. Whether it works on the water, I don't know yet. All right. Oh, this one doesn't have a stem yet. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna start with this big one. need to not lean on my tank. Can you see okay? I guess they kind of, if you use your imagination, perhaps they look like a, a shamrock. I think maybe I should have put my dots a little closer together. Oh, look at that one. I like that one. And this one just doesn't look like much of anything, so we'll just swirl that one out. I was going to go live yesterday and try this, but I didn't get home soon enough. This takes quite a while for me to set it up. So I decided to do some alcohol ink coffee mugs. So if you didn't see those, those are on my page. It kind of gives you the feel of a shamrock when I look at them in the, in the screen. Okay, thank you, Colleen. Well, that's kind of fun. Okay, let's get our first um, paper. Now this sheet is a, from this sketchbook. And so we'll see how this works. I don't know, may or may not. So I've got to figure out, 
I guess I'm going to put this right here. Oh, look at that curl up. Whoo, padogies. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want you to curl. Okay, I'm just getting up my board that I usually pull them off of the water with. Okay. I'm just gonna quickly you can probably see this in the camera I'm gonna just I have a bottle of water and I'm just gonna give it a nice easy little rinse okay so here's the way it looks I can't I don't want to put it over the design, but that's kind of how it looks when it's printed. I'm just going to place it on the cardboard I have down here. Sorry if you can see my back side. See, I guess I'll just leave this right here. Now, when I rinse it, it when I do fabric, I do the same thing. I rinse it um, in a, I have a bucket of water here. And um, it just gets the excess paint off. And so now we'll just do this. Because I took out a, some paint when I lifted it right up off of the water. So now we can add more paint in. Let's see if I can see any. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So I'm just gonna add some more. Um, we'll try, try to stay with this. I'll add a little bit more white. The more paint you have on your surface, the more attention there is. And that's a good thing because you can control your shapes a little bit better and your colors are more intense. So now I'll just drop in some more of this. I'll swirl it and then I'll move the paint again. And this will all kind of become the background. See if I can do a little bit better my next time around with, with the uh, design. I think they turned out okay. I need to make them smaller, especially for the application that I'm thinking of. But I can also use this paper to make note cards or, um, oh gosh, um, jewelry. I can put epoxy over it and in, you know, like uh, in a form for jewelry. Uh, there's a lot I can do with it, so. So we're gonna leave it like this instead of making it quite as tiny as I did the last one so it does look a little bit different. And then we're gonna try again. Now I'm gonna start out with a, the, the smaller one, the stylus this time. I'm still gonna add a little black. because I just kinda want to outline them so they stand off the back a little bit. Put them a little closer together but can you see what happens to the shape when they're too close together it made that kind of a half moon
Now, can you see them, how much they're shrinking back down? Let's see. That's a big one. All right, I'm going to do one more over here. enough for the black and now I do a darker green so you can kind of see here the difference in the greens this one's substantially darker than that one so I'm just going to go back in these I don't know um, how these are the paper is going to behave when I when it gets dry. I'm so interested to see because I, I kind of feel like I'm limited in what I the paper that I ordinarily use is fantastic paper. It just it marbles so well. But I'd like to have some options. There is an art store that sells my paper locally. And I've just got to get in there and get somewhere. I, they have hours that, that um, don't, it makes it not easy for me to get there with my day job. And once again, my, my comments aren't showing on my iPad. Hello, Carmelina Lewis. Cassandra Marie, hello. I can see him when I look up and you get my fat face in the, in the uh, camera. Okay. One more and then I need to come and put the stems on. Let's see. I'm gonna, I think, put in some tiny ones with this. It really all depends on um, the size of my uh, circles, depends on how much paint is on the end and how much time I leave it in the water. I have to be careful so I'm not getting in that stem. All right, so now let's do some stems.
that work better. Oops, did that one the wrong way. Let's try and come this direction. All right. Now I'm going to do the other two with this darker green. Oh, that one didn't turn out. It's a very fat stem. For those tiny little shamrocks so we'll just kind of try to that's okay all right so let's uh, now make need a fresh paper towel <laughs> that has a little bloop for a stem there. This is, for those of you who may be new, this is Ebrew water marbling. It's a very ancient art form. But it's much easier for us to perform now than it was when it was developed in the 15th century. It may have been even before the 15th century. Okay. Here's another funky little stem. These aren't even as coming out as well as the first ones did. Hi, Angela. How are you? Oh, there we go. This way to the stem. All right. So this one is a very funky looking... Uh, It has a funky stem, funky leaves. It perhaps has been stepped on. That's what I can say. That one got stepped on. So now the next paper that I'm using, I know this works. This is the one that I've used before. It's, this paper works very, very well. It's, I don't think it's large enough to go around my tall tumblers or my big water bottles that I like to make. But I'm going to print with this, a sheet of this now. And this paper has a textured side and a smooth side. And I always like to print on the textured side. So we will... And with this one, you can see it take the paint. So let me get my board. But <clears throat> this one is not curling up like the other one did. So there's that one before it's rinsed. And these kind of, these little shamrocks here just look like little shadows.
So that's kind of kind of fun. I'm just going to, again, I rinsed it and I'm going to put it over here on the, this paper is so fragile it feels like when it's wet. I apologize if you can see my backside. I'm just trying to get that organized so it lays nicely. Now the next uh, paper I'm going to use, this is simply a sketch pad I got at Walmart. So we're gonna try that. But I'm gonna clean the, clean the paint surface and then um, put new fresh paint down. I could have used, I actually had my long uh, tank out here, so I could have done, you know, all a bunch of sheets in one uh, color of paint, but I didn't think that'd be very fun, so. See, and there's the uh, leftover paint. There we go. I'm going to go over it one more time because I'm going to switch brands of paint and we're going to play with some gold. So I want to make sure my, my paints don't like each other, so I want to make sure. that This paint is off the surface. All right, so I'm gonna set these aside. Try not to knock them onto the garage floor. Now get the other I mean, look how pretty. How can I not want to use that? Hello, hello, everyone. This is Ebru Water Marbling. I'm marbling some paper, trying to get some shamrocks today, and, and also experimenting. I did a Valentine's tumbler last month, and so I want to do one for a Valentine. Er, What's it, what's it called? St. Patrick's Day this time. So I am going to put down as my base the gold. Woo. I really wanted to come out. Oh, it's so pretty. I wish you could see the shimmer on the water. I don't get to use this very often, so I'm so excited. Let's just use it just a touch more, just to make sure we get that shimmer. All right, and then I'm gonna use a little off-white. And this is going to be my back background this time.
This is so much fun to move this paint. All your cares just fall away when you get to work the tanks. I'm hoping I have a few uh, shows this year, this summer. I've applied to a few locally, not too far from my home. I have in the past gone all over the place. I've gone to uh, New Orleans and to near St. Louis and, and Washington and Oregon, but I'm staying close to home now. Okay, so there's the start. Still haven't made my new combs. I have everything to do it. I just need to actually do it. My uh, day job has been so incredibly stressful that once I get home, I have a hard time uh, getting myself motivated to create, which is very unusual for me. Okay, there's my pretty background. Now each color has its own property, so it's going to behave. This is a different paint, and if I remember correctly, this uh, green loves to take over. So I think what we're gonna do is just try, I won't try outlining with the black or the white. I will just try the green right on top of it. Hi, Tasha. Hi, Gloria. If you guys would sprinkle this uh, live video out, I would appreciate that. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in this cup. Okay, let's see, here we go. And that's with one of the smallest, and not the smallest, but the one next up, stylus. Look how big that got. I think I'll use the uh, smaller one. So this is the teeny tiny one. If you can see it on my hand here. What I thought this green was going to do is get gigantic. I'm just adding a little bit to these because they're so far away from that one. Deciding which way I want my shamrock to face. What am I making? I'm uh, marbling feather, uh, paper and I'm trying to make shamrocks. This is my second, third attempt here. I've already done two different sheets. They're in the back drying.
And I have put down a gold uh, metallic first and then a little bit of a cream color and now I'm adding the green. Now there's probably um, a video somewhere on the interwebs that would show me how to do this perfectly, but of course, being who I am, I need to, of course, try this on my own. Okay, I'm gonna add some stems now. Oh, whoa. Okay. We need teeny bits of paint. Okay, that worked better. Just a teeny bit of paint. I didn't think I had very much on there. Okay. So let's see if we can get some shamrock looking. Let me get a fresh paper towel. So glad we're not having a paper towel crisis anymore. Hi, Jennifer. No, they're not. I'm just trying to bring this stem in a little bit. All right, those are not, not the best ones. This is much more difficult than I expected it was gonna be. It worked much easier in my head, <clears throat> as does it do most things. Okay, now this paper that I'm using, I showed you a minute ago, is just a inexpensive uh, sketch pad from Walmart. And if you can see, the edges are all tattered here. When I hung it, I didn't have any more smooth clips. This had her textured and it kind of tore the paper. But hopefully I can just cut that off. I don't even know for sure that if this will take. You want the entire surface of the paper to touch the surface of the water. Let me get my board. Just about. Can 
you see the shimmer of the gold? I can see it here and I can see the cream and gold design in the background. The um, shamrocks look a little pathetic, but I think they really needed a, the darker green or the black outline to set it apart. I'll move this back to the drying area. After we're done here, I'll, I'll take you down off the stand so you can uh, see uh, the background, or see all of them, see how they look in comparison, one side by side. So I'm gonna keep this, we have one more type to sample and this is this paper it's a Bristol um, it's just a smooth paper so it's for finished artwork so we'll see how this one tastes what I like about this one here the rice paper this is, it comes in various sizes, but I just got this little sample, this little pad to sample it, but it takes very, very nicely. It just feels so fragile on the water that I'm just like, oh. So let's, we have the beige, or just that cream color and the gold in here. So I'm gonna drop a little more gold. It's very subtle. And I don't know if it's just because I put it with a cream color and I need something else to help it pop out. I may just give up on the uh, shamrocks and just try some regular marbling designs. I think I'll try a little bit of black in here. Now this looks like it's, I thought it was black, but it looks like it's a little more brown. Yeah, and this one's to sink too. I see little droplets in here sinking. So let's drop a little bit of the green itself in. See how it just takes over? It's so funny how these have such personalities, these paints. What do we want to put with this? Let's look. deeper green. Let's try this. Thanks, Angela. Okay, let's try this deep green on top of it. I don't know what this is going to look like, but we're just kind of experimenting. Greens are strong. Teals are super strong with in their behavior. All right. See how that really pushes that gold? All right. And this part, really, you can do whatever he makes you happy. You can move the ink or the paint until... Uh, you are satisfied with the way it looks. There's no right, there's no wrong. I'm gonna go directly to this one this time. I'm 
try to do with this one is once I get the design created, I'm going to put two different pieces of paper down to see the difference. in the way it takes the design. Okay, so we haven't used one of these yet. So I'm gonna, this is that Bristol paper. I'm gonna put one of these down. This is the same texture on both sides. It's a little bit stiff. So I'm hoping I did not capture a bubble underneath it. And then I'm going to do a piece of the uh, rice paper. I love it when you can see it through the back. I just think that is so fun. And I'm gonna pull this rice paper. Well, I better pull this one off first since it's curling. Okay. So this is what it looks like off the water. And this is the excess paint, so let me rinse it. my bottle again. there for a minute I saw a little bit of uh, purple and red underneath it but it's just from the other colors that are on the board here wasn't quite sure where those colors were coming from all right so now I'm gonna clean the surface and then we're gonna go back to the other paint put this paint back in the uh, bottle. One thing I'm going to try here, oh that rice paper is fantastic. It's, it, look, it feels so fragile when you're prepping it, but it, it, it is fantastic to use. It's great. Um, substitute for the masa paper. Um, I'm going to try, I've been dying to try some uh, paint pouring on tumblers. So on my page, you may see some of that. Okay, and I think we're going to deviate from the color palette that I've been using for the next bunch of papers. We have three shamrocks and two other green and gold. So let's do something else. So let me get this cleaned up. I know my my lives aren't quite as 
exciting as some, but I just love doing this and it's very calming and very zen is what I always say. You feel very zen when you're doing this. I just love that gold on the water. I hope it comes out in the papers when they dry. I know um, some other marblers that I watch on their papers, it does come out as a beautiful gold. All right, so I'm just gonna clean the surface by placing this newsprint down. tell you right now that the gold does not want to come out and maybe that's okay maybe that gold will not behave poorly with the other paints Ooh, wouldn't that be exciting because then I could use it when I'm doing paper with the other paints and you can see here these black dots or brownish looking dots that's where that uh, color sank all right, let's see what happens now. Okay. Hands are getting cold in the water outside here. Let's do some purple and teal. Again, I'm going to put a couple um, different sheets in here. So as always, I'll start with the white. Well, and I can tell you that my white is not sinking, even though I can see some more of that gold on the surface. So we may pop some of that gold in here anyway. And as you see, it's just one drop at a time. You're not just dumping the paint in. I think I'm gonna try it and see what happens. This, there's so much um, that you can do with this art form that it's just so fun. <laughs> Look at it push that other paint out of the way. So that's exciting news for me because I just used the two different brands of paints together and ordinarily they don't like to do that. So let's see what the color does on top of this gold. Well, isn't that just fun? You guys don't understand right now how excited I am. I want to jump up and down. Now again, the, the, I can't get the metallics to show metallic on cloth, but when I, I wanna always use it when I do paper. I have kits that you can learn to do the marbling just like what I'm doing here. And all the uh, the instruction booklets in the kit will come with a hand marbled cover. The booklet will be hand marbled cover and hand stitched. So, all right, I'll put in a little more purple and then we'll, we will move this around.
Oh, I can't wait to see how this turns out. I might just fit all the rest of my paper in here that I can. Now I do see the pa this uh, purple wanting to sink a little bit here, but not bad. And ordinarily the these colors won't sink for me. Here we go, just moving that paint around. Oh, I am so excited that that uh, gold is in there. I wish you could see it from here. Can you see the gold shimmer? Oh, it's so pretty on the water. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's get these other pages in here. And I'm gonna do rice paper first because I believe these other two want to curl a whole bunch. See, and you can just see that take that, that print. I'll need to hurry up because that one wants to curl. And this is the one, this feels more like cardstock to me. Let's see, better put it this way. Yeah, I don't know how that one's going to take that print. It kind of wanted to curve up before it even got started here. I need to get it to stay flat. All right, if I'm missing any questions, I will go back later after I've got everything put away and answer the questions. Now in this one, I'm noticing that that purple really wants to bleed. So I'm gonna rinse it again. really wants to buckle up so that is probably not a good choice for this so let's get the next one off of here so this looks like it took it much better than the other one It will be 
interesting when these dry to see what they look like. All right. And now the rice paper. And that's, it withstood that whole time in there. Didn't tear apart or anything, so. Let me get this rinsed. dry my hands and I'll disconnect the phone and then we'll come over here and take a look at the different papers. So that was an interesting little adventure. Hold on now. If you get sick, close your eyes. All right. Hold on. I'm going to switch you around. So that's the bath. That's what it looks like after. Can you see that shimmer right there? Isn't that cool? Hi, Barbara, Patricia, Sherry. Okay, so we're going to go over here and take a look. My fancy drying board. I won't leave them here. This is just, and I know I'm at the dark end of the uh, garage. This is the first one I did. There's the second one. And this is the one I had the gold on. You really can't see it right now. And then these are the other two. This is that heavy um, right here. This is that heavy, it, I said it was almost like cardstock, and that's the same with that one. They don't take very well. It took the pattern. And this is another sheet of the rice paper right here. And then these are the ones I just did. And again, the rice paper took it beautifully. But this didn't do too bad. And I think that one is the, uh, the cheap sketch pad paper. So what I'll do now is I'll take them in the house carefully and um, rinse them off again if they need it. Like this one's gonna need more rinsing. Can you see where it's running again right in this area? That one's going to need to be rinsed one more time. And we'll see how it looks. But, um, I'll, and then I'll hang them back up in the, I just hang them in my guest room to, or guest bathroom to dry. They drip into the tub. And then I will press them and then put them under something heavy and flat so they flatten out. And then they will be ready to use. So I guess that's it. So thank you all so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Have a beautiful week. And uh, just, you know, go at it and give it your best. And uh, we'll see you next time that I get to marble. Hopefully I'll be doing some scarves before too long. I have one I need to make for a birthday gift. And then um, we'll see what we're going to get up to here. But I will maybe go live with, as I'm binding some books. I have some um, signatures ready to go. So perhaps I will do that. But <clears throat> sorry, I'm out of breath all of a sudden. But anyway, take care. Have a great week. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.